I did a story a few years ago uh, about a guy who ran Arbroath Vix. Yes. Right? Yes, and he, uh, up, and he yeah, told yeah, the story right, that yeah. he, he played one game for Arbroath Vix to celebrate their 100th anniversary yes, or something. That's right. But he tells this great story, this guy, about how he brought his missus with him. Now, his missus yes. just happened to be Miss World. Mary Savage. Mary yeah. Savage. Yeah. 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 She's sitting in their bro social club. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> <With me. laughs> you know, I mean, oh, it's yeah, yeah. quite incredible, but it, it seemed for always kind of, you know, he was a world superstar quite clearly, but that sounds like pretty down to earth behaviour, you know, bringing your missus to their bro social club to, we you did, know. We did, uh, we actually played that week, that weekend. Mm-hmm. We played in Dingwall, of all places. Right. And the Celtic team came to watch us play. Would you believe that? In Dingwall. <laughs> How right? come? Well, they, they, they were, they, they were pre season training. All right, pre-season right, training. Right. We both were letters, brought the ball over. Great, right. absolutely first class. We played in Dingwall on the Saturday. We played in uh, Stonehaven on the, the Sunday. Right. And, and Miss, Starr, Miss Mary was with us all the time. That's absolutely it sounds, it sounds to me, Bill, very much as if. The reason that you and Charles got together, and this this super agent was born, and you know he's a superstar, based on you said a good few nights out together. Was it basically just as simple as that? You got on well Aye. socially. Yes, very, very, very much so. We've travelled all over the world, but the unreal thing is that George was known for drinking, and I'm teetotal. Mm-hmm. I've always mm-hmm. been teetotal, so right. it, it was a perfect batch. I would try to keep him on the straight and narrow. <laughs> what a job! <laughs> <laughs> it's a full time job. <laughs> you were telling us off air just before we, we came on about how um, the roles were reversed one day in uh, in Hong Kong yes. when you had him over there yes. and uh, you were playing and he wasn't. Tell us about that story. Well, the wee guy, Derek Curry, good pal of ours, Scots boys, you know, he had this team and they asked me if I would play three days before George was playing his first game for Hong Kong Rangers. So I'm playing away and he said, what we can do just to put some life in it, we'll make George a linesman. <laughs> so every time I touch the ball, put the flag on it, it was unreal. Yeah, it was just to annoy me. Right, but, right. But the, and we Derek came up with a crack anyway. After it, he said to us in the dressing room, George, I'm not bothered about you for Sunday, but forget about you. Oh, what are you doing on Sunday? <laughs> they wanted to say Hong Kong Rangers wanted to sign you. <laughs> Which was almost the achievement of a lifetime ambition, just the Hong Kong bit. <laughs> I, I think it the Hong Kong bit, you'd have been all right. 